This is the Felix M calculator. It comes in a nice two-tone brown colour. On the back it has this uh, plaque that says made in the USSR, in Russian of course. And on the front it says Felix M and down here is the serial number. It has the letter H followed by six digits, but that H is actually uh, the Cyrillic letter equivalent to the letter N. It is of a very basic old-fashioned design. It, uh, yeah, it has input pins up here, there's no display register, and you can turn the crank and it gets added to the main register and the counter is incremented as usual. The, this carriage, it has these wing nuts on the side and those are uh, how you clear the, clear the counters. The very first versions of the pinwheel machine had these wing nuts. Um, yeah, this is extremely old-fashioned. Um, most pinwheel machines made after 1930 or so had levers. But uh, yeah, even though this particular machine was made in 1975 probably, it still used these wing nuts. Because this design is virtually unchanged from when this machine, this model was first made. And uh, yeah, it's an extremely basic mechanism. This counter doesn't even have a, a, a carry mechanism. So if you, uh, if you subtract, it also increases to one, but even though it turns the other way, because they, yeah, all of these wheels turn um, a count from zero to nine in either direction. The, yeah, this negative one is still in black though. Some, some pinwheel machines of, of this, uh, yeah, that, that have no carry mechanism like this one would, would have that in red. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the machine does have an input clearing mechanism. It's uh, very basic uh, as well. It's simply this slider uh, that uh, blocks the input uh, slots so that when you then turn the crank, it catches the input pins and pushes them all back to zero, so that when you return the crank, yeah, yeah they're all on zero there. Uh, this machine doesn't even have a, uh, a ratchet or latch, whatever you want to call it, that uh, prevents the crank from uh, reversing direction. So you can uh, yeah, move it any way you like. Unfortunately, that does mean that uh, you have to be careful. You mustn't, you mustn't really do that because it can cause uh, inaccurate results. Because if you, uh, if you go, uh, if I go only partially one way and then back, you see it suddenly underflows because one of the carries uh, wasn't undone properly or was done twice or whatever. Um, yeah, the history of this machine is quite interesting. As I said, this design is unchanged from virtually yeah, 1928 when the first Felix machines were made. And uh, yeah, the original design was by uh, Wilgot Odner. He made these uh, calculators in St. Petersburg. His factory was then uh, uh, taken over by his son in 1905 after he died. And so Alexander Odner was running this calculator factory in uh, 1917 when the Russian Revolution came. Then his, uh, yeah, his factory was taken over by the workers, or by the state really, 
and Alexander Oudner fled to Sweden where he uh, rebuilt his company and started making calculators there. But the machinery in St. Petersburg was left behind and that machinery was used to make calculators in Russia. It's unclear whether they were uh, being used during the whole uh, civil war uh, time after that revolution, but um, during the recovery afterwards uh, it was uh, Felix Dzerzhinsky who was in charge of rebuilding the economy of uh, Russia and he organized that the machinery was transferred from St. Petersburg to Moscow where a factory was set up to produce these calculators. That happened in 1925 or so. Uh, Felix Dzerzhinsky was uh, yeah, was a hard man. He had the nickname Iron Felix. He'd been in charge of the uh, Cheka during the Civil War time, and that's the organization w that was uh, responsible for rooting out any counter revolutionaries and uh, political enemies of, uh, enemies of the state. And that organization eventually grew to be the KGB. And uh, yeah, so Felix Dzerzhinsky organized this move of the factory and he died in 1926 and then the factory was renamed the Dzerzhinsky factory and the machines they made were renamed the Felix. And the first, the first Felix branded machines were made in 1928. And the design of machine hasn't changed really much since then. Some minor changes, but I don't know exactly what. You can see pictures of the original Felix machines, and they're virtually the same, a slight difference here in the, uh, this crank uh, handle or this base, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, so these machines were made in Moscow f until about 1941, and after the war, uh, from about the 1950s, they were made in various other places. But uh, the Felix M was uh, mostly made in uh, Kursk from 1960 onwards. And they, yeah, would last, yeah, the last one was made in 1978, I think. A huge number of them were made. Uh, I think this, this letter is the year code. So, yeah, they were made by hundreds of thousands each year. And uh, as I said, I think this one is from 1975, though, so one of the later ones to be made. This was the Felix M. Thank you for watching.